no matter what anybody tells you, words and ideas can change the world. I see that look in Mr. Pitt's eye. The 19th century literature has really nothing to do with going to business school and medical school, right? Well, maybe. Mr. Hopkins, you may agree with him thinking, yes, we should just study our Mr. Pritchard, learn our Raman Meteor, and simply just go about the business of achieving other ambitions. But I have a little secret for you. Huddle up. Huddle up. We don't read and write poetry because it's cute. We read and write poetry because we are all members of the human race, and the human race is filled with passion. Now, medicine, law, business, engineering, these are all normal pursuits and necessary to sustain life. But poetry, beauty, romance, love, these are what we stay alive for. To quote from Whitman, O oh me, O oh life, of the questions of these recurring, of the endless trains of the faithless, of cities filled with the foolish, were good amidst these, O oh me, O oh life. Answer, that you are here, that life exists and identity, that the powerful play goes on in you may contribute a verse. That the powerful play goes on and you may contribute a verse. What will your verse be?